next we will talk about uh, vertical hyperbola uh, let me see everything's good here okay it's still running good perfect all right so the second part okay it's about vertical vertical hyperbola okay and I will tell you I will tell you what is the difference between uh, horizontal and vertical uh, hyperbola you look at the equation you know right away um, so um, uh, the vertical hyperbola it look like this so we have uh, uh, x and y axis okay <coughs> and uh, instead of having uh, x axis as the major axis we will have for vertical hyperbola we will have y axis as the major axis okay uh, it means that our hyperbola will look like something like this so I'm gonna have something here okay something like that <coughs> okay so it means that um, it means that we will have um, uh, B1 uh, over here, we have uh, B2 here is as the vertex, right? And we have the center box. So, uh, what if the center box is like this? Okay. The center box like that. So, I mean, our uh, A1 is here and our A2 is here. So, the vertex will be uh, B1 and B2 and uh, that's what the coordinate of this vertex will be uh, 0 B and over here will be 0 negative B okay for A1 the coordinate will be uh, negative A0 and A0 okay and uh, I'm gonna draw the equation uh, asymptote so the asymptote will be something like this okay Maybe something like that okay all right so our focus will be over here so it will be f2 and over here and uh, over here we have uh, f1 so the coordinates so let me use the different color will be um, 0 c and over here will be uh, 0, negative C. <coughs> okay. And the equation for uh, vertical hyperbola will be a little bit different. So, be, so instead of have uh, x square in the front, uh, so we have y square over b square minus x square over a square in the front. <coughs> okay. Oh yeah, there's some textbook they're gonna put y square over a square and x square over b square. It doesn't matter. It just it's just the name. You can put a b or even you put m n or whatever you want. Okay, it's just it's just the name. Okay, so the major axis will be o y. Okay, and the relation between uh, a b c is still is still the same because it's addition. So we still c square will equal a square plus b square. So I'm gonna box this and unboxing this okay so you see the difference it's just uh, they switch the position between uh, x y b a okay and uh, we have <coughs> eccentricity uh, will be c over b will be c over b okay because the at this moment for this hy uh, vertical hyperbola, the major axis is the y, so it will be c over b. Uh, the directrix will be x equal to, or will be, uh, let me see, uh, 
it will be y, I'm sorry. It will be y. It's not x anymore. y equal to plus minus. So instead of uh, a square over c, right? But right now, because this is the main one, so it will be b square over c. Okay. And the asymptote, the asymptote will be y equal to plus by minus. Uh, so it will be what? What do you think? So in this case, it's still plus minus b over a. X. Okay. Yes, it will be b over a. Still the same. So the the, um, the 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 asymptote uh, is the same. It's nothing changed for the asymptote. Okay, nothing changed for the asymptote. Whatever the values or the, the well, I mean, it makes sense though because uh, uh, this is slope over here, rise over run. The rise is always the the b. Rise over the b. A a is the x. So rise over run. So it makes sense. It makes sense. So it's always it's the same over there for the uh, vertical hyperbola. Okay. Now, all right. Now um, let's talk about. Uh, when we have um, a vertical hyperbola, which the center is not the origin, uh, what if we have somewhere else? Okay, what if I have something like this? <coughs> what if the center uh, is uh, right over here? Okay, what if the center is over here? Okay. So I mean the major axis is this. Right. And uh, what if I have uh, something like this? Okay, something like that. And over here I have something like this. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, oh I'm sorry. So this is is wrong. Ah uh, yeah yeah, I draw the wrong one. Let me get the erase because this is uh, the center already. So so must I need to move up? Okay, so this is the center. So this is I. So I, so it must be like this. So this is uh, so this is uh, my uh, b b one over here. Oh, uh, this b two. I'm sorry. This is b one. Okay. Because uh, the center is moved, so the coordinate it won't be the same as this anymore. So this is the i over here. Uh, so the i over here will be h and k. <coughs> okay. And um, I have the center box like this so the center box like that it means our a1 is here our a2 is here okay and I have the I have the uh, asymptote like this okay asymptote like that and here the asymptote is always go through the corner, the vertex of the box. Okay, so the asymptote like that. <coughs> C is um, C is the distance, so F1 right here. So the F2 right here, I'm sorry, F2 here, F1 here. So F1 is, uh, we don't know the coordinate because everything changed already. So C, uh, C is from here to here. So this is the C. This is the, uh, I mean, because the coordinate change, so but 
the, um, I'm, I'm gonna say that uh, the C over here will be chain corresponding uh, lead to C is, is C is the distance so C is the distance but the coordinate will be changed correspondingly to the coordinate of the I okay but C is still uh, the distance okay um, A is uh, B is from here to here so this is B okay and A is from here to here so the equation uh, we have will be um, y minus k because we do y first square over b square minus x minus h square over a square equal 1 okay. eccentricity could be the same you know if still uh, uh, between 0 and 1 okay uh, c square equal to a square plus with uh, b square so those uh, those things the same too um, the second thing that chain is the uh, the asymptote okay the asymptote change okay the directrix equation will be the same the asymptote will be y minus k equal to plus minus b over a x minus h okay right. yeah the abc abc is just the distance All right. but when we when you want to write the coordinate uh, you have to draw the picture okay and you can get the coordinate all right all right let's jump to the example uh, first example all right let's see let's see what we have here okay what if I have something like this uh, let's see So I have equation 16x squared minus uh, 9y squared equal uh, 144. Uh, let's check one more time so everything is still recording. Uh, yep, still recording. Okay. Um, so, um, okay. So what we have over here is, I'm sorry, this is plus 144, so equal 0. So what we have uh, 16x squared minus 9y squared equal negative 144, right? So I'm going to subtract both, uh, I'm going to divide both sides by 144, so I have 144 divided by 16, uh, which is, uh, give you what, 144, you have a 16, which give you 9. So I have x squared over 9 minus 144 divided by 9 is uh, you have uh, 16 is equal to negative 1. So it's not in the form yet. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. Then I can switch position. There you go. So this is your B and this is your A. So B will be 4. A is 3. Right. So from there we can get the the vertex. So B1 will be um, 0, negative 4. B2 will be uh, 0, 4, right? And you could get A1 and A2 if you want to. Uh, you can get C. So C is, uh, is uh, C squared equal to A squared plus B squared, right? So C squared will be uh, 16 plus 9, right? Will be 25. So C will be 5. So you can get the coordinate of uh, the focus will be f equal zero f one be zero negative five f two will be zero five right <coughs> and you can find uh, 
the eccentricity E will be uh, uh, C over B, right? C over B, so it will be 5 over uh, 4 the eccentricity the directrix equation uh, y equal to plus minus b over a x so will be plus minus um, oh this is um, no, this is asymptote b over a will be 4 over 3 x okay and uh, directrix equation will be y equal to plus minus b square over c okay b square over c right i remember it should be yep so it should give you uh, plus minus it will be uh, 16 over 9 no 16 over 5 i'm sorry c is y c is y okay yeah that's it so uh if i uh, i give you the equation i'm ask you to find all the all the property then you can go ahead and list everything out like this all right so the example uh, number one is kind of simple you know everybody know uh, as long as you memorize uh, you know all the property here then you can you can do it all right on the example uh, number two I will ask you to write equation <coughs> Okay, let's see. <coughs> let's see. All right, how about this? Uh, right. Right. Uh, equation of hyperbola okay uh, which has major axis okay uh, is Y axis, okay. Uh, minor axis, uh, equal six, and eccentricity equal five over four. All right. So how we do that? How we do this? Um, solution so they say that they this hyperbola has major axis is on y axis so it means that it means what it means that uh, we have vertical right so, uh, so the information on the question it tell you uh, and you can use that to determine if the vertical hyperbola or horizontal hyperbola we they also give you minor axis equals six it means that they give you a1 a2 equals six a1 equal to six it means that you can get a equal three because you want to write equation you it mean you need to find a and b you need to find a and b so you got a from that information already now you need to find b so we know that e equal to uh five over four and uh, e equal to b over c right according to eccentricity e equal to oh, oh e equal to c over b i'm sorry okay. c over b e equal to c over b not b over c so c over b so uh from here what we get hmm c over b okay we cannot get anything however we know the relationship we know that c square equal to a square plus b square all right um, so from here i can get c uh, you do cross multiply so c could be 5b over 4 right then you're gonna plug in here so we have 5b over 4 square 
a square could be 9 plus b square right so from here I can solve for b so it will be 24 uh, 25 over 16 b square equal 9 plus b square so subtract both by both by b square so have an um, uh, 16 uh, 16 and 55 will be 9 over 16 b square equal 9 all right then uh, i cancel the 9 it means i have uh, 1 over 16 b square equal 1 so it means that b square equal to 16 all right so i got b square i got uh a then you can write equation so you y square equal to 16 minus x square equal to 9 equal 1 there you go easily okay <laughs> again um, um i can uh, give you different uh, uh property and use uh, you use those properties to, to write equation of hyperbola uh, so it's not uh, uh, you have to uh, learn math uh, by logic okay don't 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 learn it by by uh, by look at this example and you mimic the example of course you can mimic the example however uh, make sure that you really understand it so that when I change something in the question then you should know how to do it okay all right um, so that is the way you write the equation of hyperbola uh, for for the for the hyperbola which the center is not at the origin, you, you could do the same. Okay, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you example anymore because I, I, I just feel that everything is the same. Uh, so uh, uh, for the uh, for the hyperbola uh, for for the vertical hyperbola, I'm gonna give you something like this like last time. You know, I I probably ask you to write equation uh, of hyperbola. With the center is not an origin at the origin but um uh, uh yeah i mean uh i mean i can find something else for, and uh, work on that probably we have another example uh let, let me check okay let me check uh, you know let's see if we have uh, anything here or not hmm all right All right. Um, so hyperbola. Uh, okay. Uh, I can have uh, something like this. Example number three. Hmm. Um. Right equation of hyperbola which center is um, 9 negative 7 and we have focus is uh, one of the focus is 9 3 and one of the vertex is uh, so one of the vertex is nine uh, negative one. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, we can uh, do this or not. <coughs> uh, so we know. Uh, so this is the vertex. Uh, um, uh, we don't know. We don't know. This is uh, a vertical or horizontal. So we need to figure out. We need to determine it's this vertical or horizontal first okay so the center is 9 and negative 7 so let's let's draw it 9 negative 7 so we should draw it because when you draw it then you know so 9 1 uh, so 9 I think it's 8 over here so 9 right here and negative 7 so it's 8 right here negative 7 uh, 7 right here so this is the center so this is negative 7 this is 9 so this is the new center okay 
and I have the focus is 93 so 93 so the focus is here so this have app right here uh, oh here you go so the center right here and the focus over here so it means that this is the I'm sorry I need to move a little bit up this is should be the F2 right you got F1 should be all the way down here should be good it's the 93 so um, is that 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 and 3 or oh, 3 up here I'm sorry it's the 3 up here there you go and uh, so uh, the distance so you can get the C the C value so be 1 2 3 4 1 2 1 2 3 uh, 3 is 10 right so it will be 10 uh, so we have uh, 7 here uh, so we have uh, 1 here uh, so we have 7 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 8 9 10 there you go it's 10 we got over here 7 already and it's 3 so it could be 10 so I have 8 over here it will be 8 10 10 right here okay so from here to here from here to here is 10 so this is F1 right here okay F1 right there and uh, they say that one of the vertex is 981 you see the vertex is you see that the vertex is on the same line with the, the axis the major axis 9 negative 1 so 9 here negative 1 right here so this is one of the vertex so this is your b2 okay so you count like how many value from the center so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So right over here. So A, B, one right here. Okay, right. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So that's B, one right here. So B, one right here. Okay. So I mean that our uh, uh, our hyperbola something like this. There you go. And there you go. I have a hole or something like that. So this is the vertex. Okay, this is F. So um, we know that this is uh, a six unit, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. This six unit. Okay, and that's the the B value. Um, we know the center uh, the center is, is, is uh, so this is vertical one so we know the the equation uh, so will be uh, y minus uh, uh, minus minus so will be y uh, plus 7 over b square uh, minus x minus 9 over a square equal 1 so our job is to find a and b so this is your b unit right here and um, A, uh, we need to. We already know C. C is uh, from here to here. See how many units for C. So C is from here. So C is one, two, three. C from here to here. So how many units? Ten, right? Because this is seven already plus so one, two, three. So it's C ten. All right. So we know uh, B is six. C is ten. So I can get um, a right. Uh, so we know c square equal to a square plus b square. So a square equal to c square. So it'll be ten square minus uh, six square. So it'll be hundred minus thirty six. All right. So hundred minus thirty six. Thirty six. So it would use uh, give you sixty four is a square. Then you see that you can get the equation easily. So my e equation will be y plus 7 square equal uh, 36 minus x minus 9 square equal um, oh 
no, I'm sorry, this uh, b squared square equals uh, this 36, a square uh, 64. Yes, so it's good. I thought I got a bright equal one. There you go. Yeah, so you see the by uh, sketching the the uh, the, the hyperbola and counting the value, you can get a, b, c uh, easily. So this is c equal. Okay. Don't do it by the formula. Uh, if you uh, read the textbook, you know, they say that, okay, in order to get c, you minus h, blah, blah, blah. So don't, don't do it like that. Okay. Because if you do it like that, then I just need to change the letter. You can really confuse. You don't know which one A, which one B, which one C. Okay? You just draw the now them and you start counting. Okay? So in order to get a good drawing, you know, make sure that uh, your paper, if you have uh, if your paper has, has the grid, then it will be easy. If you don't have a grid, then make sure that uh, you divide x and y axis into a uh, equal increment. So your coordinate system should be uh, Pretty perfect in order. Uh, I'm sorry, this is like, in order to uh, to get a good graph. Okay, then if you get a good graph, then uh, uh, you can get ABC value easily. Then you get you can get an equation. Okay. All right. So I think I'm gonna stop right over here for uh, uh, section 8.2. Um, in the next section, we'll be learning how to solve system of nonlinear equation um, uh, we will do uh, kind of more difficult problem than the, the problem we uh, we did in uh, college algebra but um, uh, as usual a concept is not really that hard but you need to practice a lot all right and i'll see you next time in the next video bye bye